I'm going to try to turn salt water from the ocean into pure cooking salt. Will it work? What will it taste like? There are a few questions that need to be answered. You might be asking yourself, why are you even trying to do this? Well, yesterday I ran out of salt and I could do the easy, normal thing, go to the grocery store, or I could go straight to the source and make my very own pure cooking salt that will rival all other salts. So that's what we're gonna do. We wanna go into the deeper part of the ocean because that's where there'll be less sand and seaweed and we'll get some really nice and clear salt water. Got the pack raft all set up for its voyage. Let's go get out on the ocean. Oh wait, forgot this. The important piece of the puzzle. All right, now we're ready. We're out here now. Check this out. Just a man collecting some salt water. Got my jug. Let's fill it up. Oh, that's heavy. <laughs> Oh, oh, this thing's gonna sink me. I didn't really think that through. Hold on. Ah, okay. Oh, where's the cap? <laughs> Woo! Success! Time to see if we can turn this ocean salt water into the best dang cooking salt I've ever had. We made it back home. Woo! Filter. First step is to filter the water. I don't have one of those fancy strainers that sits on top of the pot, so I've come up with this. All right, now we pour the water through and start filtering it. Round one of filtering complete. I'm gonna do another one, this time through a tea towel. We just did like five or maybe six rounds of the filtering. We're gonna pour it all into our big cauldron and then on to step number two. Step number two brings us inside to the kitchen where we're gonna boil the water way down until we see some salt crystals. It's only been like two minutes and I'm already checking to see if it's boiling, which it isn't. I've never done this before, so it could take a while, but I'm gonna set the goal of completing this entire process today. So it's noon right now and we're on the clock. Let's see if we can make our sea salt from the seawater, hopefully all in one day. Ladies and gentlemen, it has officially started boiling. The plan is to let it boil for a while until it's like, I don't know, like half the amount of water and then we'll turn it down to a simmer. Oh, that's hot. You can finally start to see the first little salt pieces on the bottom. Look at them. That's salt, baby. Update, it's actually working. I'm shocked. This is, this is crazy. Here's what it looks like. I'll check back in soon once the last bit of water is boiled off and then we can fire it in the oven and on to step three. It looks like mashed potatoes. That's it for the boiling process. And on to step three, time to bake the salt. It's been in the oven for about an hour. Let's take it out and see what it looks like. Oh dang, look at that. After nine full hours, it's official. We've made sea salt straight from the sea. The sound of success. Taste test. Ooh, <laughs> that's salty. Straight salt. <laughs> also the freshest salt I've ever had probably. Oh, I'm so excited right now. I can't believe it worked. I can't believe two days ago that this was ocean water and now it's salt going into my salt grinder. This is amazing. <laughs> I'm gonna start putting this salt on everything starting with tomorrow's lunch and then a bit of pepper. What? Oh, 
Dang it. I'm out of pepper.